like to come forward and just read the comments? I was in need of some uplifting, and I knew exactly where I could find it. So thank you, thank you for having me. So I really, really thank you for providing me with the peace that I feel when I come here, the happiness, watching the music and the dancing and the prayer and listening to the pastor, and I can't wait to hear what today's message is. It's just such a source of strength for me. And of course, the gorgeous weather brought to us by God. It makes it that much easier to do. So, and so thank you all. I do want to say, um, and I've been asked by Harold Levy and Michael Laws to put in a word for the uh, Northampton County Black Caucus, which is meeting this Wednesday evening at 6.30 at... 138. St. Joseph Street. Wait, 138 St. Joseph Street. Make your voices heard. Make sure that people at the local level, at the state level, at the federal level are hearing your voices. Take advantage of this wonderful organization that they've put together. Thank you so much. It's very rare that we have politicians who understand the importance of prayer and can come and be transparent about the challenges that they face on Capitol Hill. We don't always know. So I just want you to stretch your hands this way if you would. For this country. And Father God, we realize that there is a president and there is a Congress and there is a Senate, but ultimately you are in control. Yes. We ask, oh Lord, that you would cover them and keep them, that you would keep um, this woman of God specifically, Lord, and guide her and direct her, give her strength and courage, that she may continue, Lord, to serve in a way that brings glory and honor to you. Strengthen her hands, strengthen her heart, strengthen her reserve, and give her the courage necessary to continue to fight the good fight of faith. For this we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.